I'm overdue for a haircut. Hair's getting way too long. But then at my age, I guess I should be lucky that I still have my hair, huh? Greetings, one and all, and welcome back to Tom's Hit Parade. By the way, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Share this video with your friends and leave me your thoughts down in the comment section. I would be forever grateful. Figuratively speaking, of course. So yes, in this video, believe it or not, I already have another thrift store haul for you guys. Uh, I, I normally never do thrift store crawls uh, this close together. They're usually It's usually a couple months between my thrift store crawls, but a little uh, explanation is in order here. Uh, I had um, an unexpected day off from work a couple weeks ago, and so uh, since I had already done the local St. Vinny's stores, all seven of them. Uh, that was the haul that I showed you in my last video. Uh, it's like it was way too early to do those again. I'd only done those a couple weeks before. Uh, but I'd always been wanting to do a circuit of the uh, Goodwill stores in the area. I'd only hit one of the Goodwill stores like two years ago, found a couple things that I liked. But, uh, you know, I have such good luck at the St. Vinny's stores that it's kind of like I never have reason to do the Goodwill stores. But this time I had an excuse to do the Goodwill stores. Uh, there are only four in the area. I'm sorry if you guys are way less fortunate, but you know when I say only four in our area. Uh, and I got to hit all four in one day. And uh, to my surprise, I, I had my ex expectations pretty low because uh, the St. Vinny's usually uh, are much better. Uh, well, from what I've heard, uh, the reputation for St. Vinny's CD hunting is far greater than the Goodwills in the local area. But uh, anyway, yes, I found a pretty good haul, as you will, or you are about to see here. Uh, yes, I, I'm going to show you 20 CDs or 20, 20 titles. One of them is a two-disc set. Uh, but I also found three cassettes. Uh, I found Baja's two, uh, first two albums. Uh, if, you, if you don't know Baja, she is a, uh, was a, no, is, she's still around, a Polish singer, uh, jazz singer, and a lot of what she does has like Brazilian-ish or bossa, bossa Nova-ish rhythms to it. Beautiful, beautiful voice. Uh, she hit it big in the 80s with a couple of uh, big hit singles. And she's recorded, uh, she hasn't recorded albums very frequently in the last 20 years or so. But uh, she put out three really good albums in the 80s. This is her, these are her first two, uh, Time and Tide and London, Warsaw, New York. I've got, yeah, I've got Time and Tide actually on CD, uh, Expanded Anniversary Edition, and on uh, vinyl as well. I figured, what the heck? Went, round out the trifecta of formats with the cassette. And uh, yes, I also have uh, London, Warsaw, New York, also in a two CD, or is it three CD, Expanded Edition. Yeah, all three of her first albums were put out a few years back on the Cherry Red label, or Cherry Pop, uh, in... Multi-disc expanded editions. I believe the first two are in two-disc editions, and her third album actually came out in a three-disc set. So yeah. maybe I'll do a Basha discography at some point. And the other cassette I found is by Howard Jones, uh, the 12-inch album. So 12-inch uh, mixes of his hit singles. So I was pretty happy to get that. I'm a bit of a Howard Jones fan. His, his singles in the 80s are great stuff. And then let's go ahead and get on to the CDs. And as I usually do, I kind of arrange these in roughly in genres. So uh, hopefully I'll be a, a reasonably coherent flow of uh, stuff. First off, we have Eddie Money. This is his self-titled debut album, I believe. And it's got uh, his uh, two big singles, uh, two, two Tickets to Paradise and Baby Hold On. And I believe, I, th I think he had one or two other pretty big singles. But uh, yes, this is... The one album I had his greatest hits, but uh, when I found this, it's like this has all the Eddie money that I really, really wanted to have. Just those two songs are uh, my favorite songs of his, so get that one. Then we have another uh, 80s album, The Wild Wild West by The Escape Club. The title track, of course, was their, their big hit, uh, so I've always wanted to, and that's the only song of theirs that I know, so I figured I would... Uh, Check out, check them out in more depth. So, and uh, yes, the CDs at the Goodwill stores are a dollar ninety nine each, so about twice as much as they are at St. Vinny's. Yet another reason I prefer to go to St. Vinny's. 
Uh, but I actually got discounts on several of these. I guess they have different colored tags, and one of the colors was on sale for half off. So uh, I spent uh, less than $1.99 for uh, each for these CDs. So pretty good bargain, I've got to say. Then we have a compilation album here. This was done, I believe, in the 80s, or no, in the 90s, 1996, 95, sorry. It is Come Together, America Salutes the Beatles. It is a, an album of country covers of Beatles songs. You've got uh, Willie Nelson, Tanya Tucker, uh, Delbert McClinton, Sammy Kershaw, Colin Ray, Billy Dean. Uh, oh, actually, there's Huey Lewis, so it's not entirely country, but Huey Lewis is on there. Uh, Randy Travis, Steve Warner, Chris Christopherson. So a very good um, array of artists making appearances on this set. So I will be very interested to, uh, to listen to this one. So very cool stuff. Then we have, and I think I got a compilation of hers at my la on my last St. Vinny's Crawl, but I completely forgot about it. Uh, but here we have Sheena Easton, the Classic Masters. This is uh, one of those, um, and I think this is primarily from Europe. Oh no, it it's a uh, U.S. made. So, but yes, one of those uh, f uh, budget-ish compilation series that they used to put out back in the '90s and 2000s. Uh, this is 2002 is the copyright date on this one. But yes, all of her big big hits are on this compilation, as you can see. Uh, always kind of like Sheena Easton, not quite as much as Pat Benatar, the other big 80s rock. Uh, well, I guess Sheena Easton was technically a little bit more pop, not quite as much rock as Pat Benatar was, but uh, yeah, still good stuff. And uh, you might recall in my last St. Vinny's Hall, I found a couple of American Idol alumni, and I'll be darned if I didn't find a couple of American Idol al alumni in my Goodwill crawl. We have Lauren Elena with her album, her first album, Wildflower. Or is it Wildflowers? No, singular, Wildflower. Uh, she came in second to um, Scotty McCreary, I guess. I guess that was American Idol's country year. Uh, but uh, yeah, I figured I'd give her a shot. And this one I'd had before, got rid of, but uh, kind of been a little bit uh, nostalgic for the classic era of American Idol. Crystal Bauer Socks. Uh, she was second to Philip Phillips, I want to say. Uh, I'll have to check uh, afterward and see how my memory is on that. But uh, yeah, I, li I've al I always liked her. Uh, I liked her in the competition. And, uh, yeah, Cool stuff. Then we have, uh, <laughs> not a big fan of this guy as a person. Uh, his Some of his uh, political views are very questionable. But uh, he was a good singer back in his day. Pat Boone is his greatest hits. Uh, thank goodness this does not have uh, Tutti Frutti on it. Uh, his version of that was is, I'm I'm sorry, but it's very laughable. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. Pat Boone Tutti Frutti. Check it out. You will you will laugh yourself silly. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know he's he had his goods his his goods. He had his good so songs. Of course, there are a couple of other songs on here that were originally made famous by African American artists, and uh, he gave gave them his own uh, inimitable style. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, I I couldn't resist picking that up for a dollar ninety nine ish. And then we have some country, Ronnie Millsap, the ultimate Ronnie Millsap. Um, I inherited a big cassette collection from a friend of my mother's a few years back and a couple of his tapes were in there. And so I kind of uh, developed a bit of a, a minor liking of uh, to his stuff. So I figured bring home a full CD of his greatest hits and check it out. So cool stuff. And this one, uh, this artist was in a uh, bargain bag toward the end of my bargain bag uh, days. And unfortunately I did not keep that CD that was in the bargain bag, but I decided to give her another shot. Her name is Dar Williams. Uh, she is um, folk pop-ish, kind of adjacent to country, sort of bleeds a little bit into the country genre. But uh, yes, uh, End of the Summer is the name of this album. And uh, one of the songs on here that kind of, uh, I, I like looking at the song titles, see if any, any of them intrigue me. One of the songs on here is track six, Teenagers Kick Our Butts. And as you'll see uh, in, in the title, it has a comma after teenagers. 
So it's like she's inviting the teenagers to kick our butts. So I have not listened to this yet, so I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing what the context of that title is. So, uh, yeah. Should be interesting. And yeah, you know, for a, a buck ninety nine, buck fifty, or whatever, I'm willing to give stuff that I'm not familiar with a try. Why not? Then we have uh, Belafonte at Car- Carnegie Hall, Harry Belafonte, in one of his live albums. Uh, he's always been kind of fun. He's one of my mom's favorite artists, and so I thought I would uh, give this one an, a try. I've heard his um, what is it? Belafonte returns to Carnegie Hall, and I and I enjoyed that one. I'm kind of looking for the CD version of that one as well. So uh, when I get that one, I will have a matching set of both. So yay. Then we have a compilation here. This one looked really intriguing. It's called the Vocal Group Comp- the Vocal Group Compilation. It has the Platters, the Penguins, the Dell Vikings, and the Dan Lears. Uh, yes, I've heard of the Platters and the Dell Vikings, of course. I had not heard of the other two groups. So it looks intriguing. It's got seven songs from each of them. And another kind of cool thing about this uh, compilation is it does not have the biggest hits from any of these artists. Like uh, what uh, the Dell Vikings had that song, Come Go With Me, I think. I could be mixing up my doo-wop groups. But um, yeah, and that one's not on here. And the Platters had a few significant hits. I can't remember what, what they were, but I know that none of them are on this CD. So uh, two reasons to buy this compilation. You know, it's got Off the Beaten Path songs, they're lesser known songs, and it's a sampling of four doo wop groups. So I was very happy to get that to very looking forward to listening to that one. And uh, as if you didn't know, we are we have worked our way into the pop section of uh, the uh, collection here. Uh, here we have an artist, she recently passed away last year, or was it earlier this year? Nancy Wilson. Uh, never listened to any of her stuff, so I was happy to find this hits compilation. So, yeah, looking forward to uh, giving her a good try. I hear she was very, very talented, had a kind of a legendary status in the world of music. So, looking forward to that one. And uh, speaking of uh, entertainment legends, well, I guess she's one of the second tier entertainment legends, but I've uh, never had any of her music and wanted to give it a shot. Dinah Shore. Uh, this is, this is a, her installment in the 16 Most Requested Songs series that the uh, Columbia family of labels put out back in the 90s. Yeah, 1991. So, yeah. Some uh, fairly popular uh, old standard songs on here that I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how she did with them. I've heard Dinah Shore here and there, probably not very often, uh, but she, from what I remember, she has a very, very good voice. Looking forward to that. Now we're getting into the New Age and Jazz uh, area of my collection. Hang on a second, just reshuffling here to keep the flow going smoothly. Uh, George Benson. (laughs) A little brain fart, I couldn't remember who this was. But yes, The Big Boss Band uh, by George Benson and featuring the Count Basie Orchestra. So yes, I do like George Benson. I've, I'm a fan of his. I've got probably five or six, four or five of his albums, and uh, happy to add this one to it. And uh, yeah, it's got some some old standards on here and some more more recent uh, songs as well. Uh, I only have eyes for you, uh, baby workout, which was a Jackie Wilson song, or it's a song that Jackie Wilson made famous. And how do you keep the music playing? It's a classic standard. Uh, Skylark, I think, is a classic uh, jazz song. And uh, On Green Dolphin Street. So I am very much looking forward to hearing that one. I don't know why I keep saying that one, because I I wouldn't have bought these if I wasn't looking forward to listening to them. So. And uh, here's an artist, a, a jazz artist, that I got. I have a few albums by. Didn't realize that they put out a two-disc uh, set of his hits, but uh, Bob James. Uh, those of you who are fans of classic TV sitcom series might remember that uh, Bob James did the theme to the TV series Taxi. It's a song called Angela, and of course that is on here, obviously. But yeah, two discs full of Bob James. And uh, yeah, the, the albums that I have are uh, enjoyable. Not my favorites, but uh, still I enjoy putting them on every now and then. So yes, very much uh, 
was very happy to see that. Uh, yeah, a couple of, uh, as you'll see here, a couple of pretty choice two-disc sets were hiding in the CDs at the Goodwill stores. Uh, this other one, the Maguire Sisters, this was a close harmony pop group from the 40s, 30s, 40s, 50s. And uh, yes, I had had a one-disc and a fairly short one-disc set of their stuff a while ago, but uh, again, did not realize they made a two-disc set of their stuff. And as you can imagine, th since the songs back then were pretty short, they were able to pack quite a few songs in this set. Uh, 20, 50 songs on this uh, in this set. So yeah, the Maguire Sisters, the anthology. Looking forward to listening to them. Now we're going into the, the New Age genre. Uh, there's actually a video posted by, and I cannot remember his name. I will post the name of this channel or uh, give you the name of this channel down here in a uh, text here, and I'll put it, probably put it down in the description below. Um, he show, has uh, does CD hauls and stuff. He's a fellow YouTuber, and in his most recent video, he talked about uh, getting a CD or two from the Narada label. That's a New Age label that was popular back in the 90s, late 80s, early 90s, and I'm a fan of, was a big fan back in the early days of Narada, got rid of their CDs for a long time, and in the re past few years, I've kind of uh, developed a uh, rekindled appreciation for them. So uh, here we have David Arkenstone, his album Valley in the Clouds. Was able to find that there at Goodwill. Uh, electronic, uh, semi-ambient electronic music. Good stuff. And uh, yes, Narada had um, specialized in a few different subgenres of instrumental New Age-ish type music. Uh, case in point, here's another compilation. And I'd had this one a long time ago, uh, got rid of it, uh, but uh, was happy to find it again. Uh, a smooth jazz collection by the Narada label. And uh, it's kind of breezy out there. Uh, so yes, a bunch of uh, the uh, artists in the Narada stable doing uh, the, the artists that uh, lean toward the smooth jazz uh, type of music, obviously. But uh, yeah, I was very happy to find this to this collection. Very nice for putting it on and uh, when you're just want some mild background music for stuff. You know. And then I found uh, a soundtrack. Well, I've got one soundtrack and one soundtrack adjacent album to show you guys. And uh, I was very happy to find this one. I was kind of kind of been looking around for this one for a while and was happy to see the soundtrack from Fantasia, the classic Disney movie um, in uh, the two disc. Yes, it's uh, two individually cased discs, but it's a two disc set. And yes, this is the remastered original soundtrack edition. I don't know why they have the, the word edition after it, but anyway. Uh, it's, it was uh, made in 1990, so yeah. And this is disc one. And it is essentially, it is a classical compilation, but, you know, it was it is a classic Disney movie, and uh, if you want a nice little primer on classical music, you could do far, far worse than get the Fantasia soundtrack. So I was very, very happy to find it. I had to pay double because they were two separately cased CDs, but was happy to find them. And the last CD in my haul today is from the Telarc label. And uh, Telarc is a label that, does, that did um, a bunch of CDs of uh, compilations of uh, science fiction, fantasy, film music. Uh, uh, themes and stuff uh, by the Cincinnati Pops Orchestra conducted by Eric Kunzel. So whenever I see a Telarc CD, I actually found one, uh, a Cincinnati Pops one in my uh, St. Vinny's Hall. And this, But this one is a little bit different. It is called Cinematic Piano and it is solo piano renditions of soundtrack stuff by Michael Chertok on the piano. And it has a couple of uh, John Williams selections, uh, namely E.T. and Schindler's List. But uh, yeah, I've gotten a bit into, just recently I've picked up a few different uh, piano, solo piano renditions, uh, collections of film themes, you know, interpretations of film themes. And so I don't know, and I don't know why I've been picking these up lately. I've never particularly been partial to solo piano stuff, but uh, I get, we all have our phases every now and then for different kinds of music. But anyway, that was my uh, Goodwill Stores haul. I 
hope you enjoyed that. Uh, yeah. So, yes, I'm going to make a habit of every couple of months going back to uh, Goodwill. I, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that uh, Goodwill seems to have just about as good a selection of CDs uh, as the St. Vinnie stores. So now I have like twice as many thrift stores I have to get around to on a regular basis. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, anyway, so for now, that'll do it for this video. Be sure to like it if you like it. Before you go, drop me some feedback in the comment section. I'd love to know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, bell icon to catch my future videos, and hit my username to browse my old videos. Links to my socials and my favorite fellow YouTubers are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob.